So my big idea for making Sydney into a first tier city is really about creating pre-planned communities on the outskirts of Sydney so that we can preserve the culture we have in central Sydney as it is right now. But then also we can't stagnate central Sydney and so we need to upgrade that through technology. My idea for Sydney is to make it more walkable by introducing pedestrian networks around the transport hubs of Sydney. My idea will make Sydney a better place to live because it will integrate our public transport network better with the communities it serves, less emissions and greater environmental sustainability and better public health. It'll make Sydney more accessible. That'll be, yeah, really good for regional, domestic and international tourists. My big idea for Sydney is to turn Sydney into an intelligent city, which means we can really talk to the buildings and the buildings can think and learn and estimate what we want. My big idea for Sydney is to have a TOD, which is known as a transit oriented development, which incorporates vertical farm walls solar glass windows and autonomous hover drones into the whole development. It incorporates three key aspects, sustainability, livability and productivity. My big idea for Sydney is to build independent floating suburbs along our coastline. They'll be shaped like a water lily and anchored to the seabed using a single pile. My idea is to create a city that's highly adaptive and responsive to transform our city into a large network of self-sustainable buildings, green power hubs and digital nervous systems which allow people to deliver real-time information such as traffic conditions and available parking spaces, even to dim street lights when there are no cars in the vicinity. So my idea will benefit Sydney in 2066 as we'll look to grow jobs in the science and technology sector. We'll like spread out the employment throughout the city and we'll house people closer to where they work. Um, this will reduce the congestion and the commuting times in the city so people can have less time commuting and more time to spend at their leisure.